Well, good mor <clears throat> Sorry, good morning, folks. Welcome to Miyagi Mornings, episode four. Since the sun is in an overcast mode today and I'm a little earlier out, we can actually be in front of the Miyagi. I unplugged the pumps there so it's not making a bunch of noise for you while it goes on. But I'm sure our friends in the F-35 jets will come straight to me at some point during this short video. Uh, I just want to let you know, if you watch my podcast, today's podcast will be uh, 2778. I believe, episode 2778, uh, date of publication will be dated of this video, which I don't know, it's November something, it might be the 20th today, and it will be all about cryptocurrency from kind of an on-ramp, newbie, I don't know what I'm doing yet, question level. I was also listed in social media, it's another reason to follow me on like Parler or MeWe, you might get to participate in shows that others might not know about. And to watch my videos, not just on YouTube, but Odyssey, where you can tip me in LBC coin and find other really cool, great creators that believe in freedom and liberty. So today's episode of Miyagi Mornings was created the day this idea came to me to do these Miyagi Mornings. It was going to be my first one and some other things came up. And I feel like now the time is right. So we just did a big workshop. I had 80 people at my place for four days partying into the wee hours of the morning, ignoring COVID lockdowns. And you know what happened? Absolutely nothing. Everybody had a fabulous time. And during this, on the last day of the workshop, one of my presenters, one of my best presenters, was Jessica Dixie Mills. She came up and she presented an amazing presentation called Life Lessons from the Trail. For those who don't know of Dixie, she's hiked the Pacific Rim Trail, the Central, the Continental Divide Trail, and the Appalachian Trail. It's called the Triple Crown of Hiking. It is a big achievement in the world of hiking. And she's learned a lot about life, not just about hiking and living in the backwoods, but life. And she's been teaching these life lessons in various ways, specifically teaching about those gear, you know, hiking all of it on her YouTube channel for a long time. So she did this and toward the end of her presentation, she played a video that I'll link to in the video notes for you guys so you can see it. It's really emotional and uh, it's really inspirational. <clears throat> and there was a whole lot of, uh, I got something in my eye going on while this thing was going on. And it, it's, it, it's so real. And it's so authentic. And I know Dixie. I've met her. She's been here a couple times now. Um, I've interviewed her. And uh, she's been a follower of mine, I think, since like 2014 or something like that. And I know that that person in that video is the person that if you ever meet her, you will meet. I know that. And it made a word come into my mind that when I say it, you're going to be like, what? The? Unless you were here and you know where I'm going with it, you're going to be like, why the hell does he feel that way? Um, give me a second when I give you this word. It has nothing to do with her personally. The word is contempt. While I was watching that video, I thought over and over about contempt. My contempt for totally different people. See, I used to be in <clears throat> kind of internet marketing, marketing, consulting, branding. That was my world. We represented companies who were, you know, half a million dollar a year companies, and we represented companies who were 50 million dollar a year companies. One of our clients was actually Trump University, as Donald Trump was one of my clients. And so that would be the upper end, and then there was all kinds of size companies in between. Well, they all had something in common that happened over and over again. Understand, this is back in like 05, 06, right? When going viral was getting dug, and people were just trying to sort this out. Brands and companies had just figured out, hey, we need to pay attention to social media. This is not just for kids and, and what have you. So every place I would go into and sit down at a really expensive conference table with self-important assholes wearing suits... I heard the same phrase over and over again. What are your tips and tricks? 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 You might be wondering, why does that torque, torque me off so much? They wanted what she has. They wanted what Dixie Mills has. They wanted what I have. They wanted what, what other great creators of, of content and social media, from Instagram to Facebook to you know, YouTube, all over the, the web today, TikTok, et cetera. They wanted what they had. <clears throat> they didn't want to earn it, though. At the time, <clears throat> this company, I was the president and, and an owner in the company, but I had several other partners in it. And it's the only thing, you're going to hear some words here, pretty harsh adult language in a second, right? It was the only thing that kept me from telling these people, go fuck yourself, you self-important dickhead. No, I won't give you tips and tricks. Go fuck off and get up and walking out. The only thing that kept me professional while I was thinking that over and over and over again, it's a big part of why I left, 
was the other people that depended on me. The employees that we had that depended on me to bring that business in. So I'd smile and nod and I'd try to re-educate and whatever. But that's all I could think of. You, you fucking assholes. Because you know what you're saying to me when you say tips and tricks? And you're trying to brand yourself the way that we brand ourselves on social media? How do I make these stupid fucks out there think I give a shit about them and care about me even though all I want is their money? That's what those words mean. That's what tips and tricks mean when people like that say them. Because they didn't understand what they were asking for. Another example of a really great creator on YouTube is uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. I was at a trade show about a year, year and a half ago now called uh, Aquashella in Dallas. And I watched this guy stand on his feet all day long for three days. People lined up like he was a celebrity. Because to them he is. And I was talking to a guy that was running another booth. And uh, this guy, nothing wrong with this guy or nothing, just he didn't get it. He goes, it's amazing to me that those people will stand there all day. And I said, He'll, they'll stand there all day because they know he will. And he's like, what? Said, they know that he'll stand there all day. They know him from his channel. They know that when they come to see him, they may only get to talk to him for 30 to 40 seconds because of the line. But they know he will stay there and he will be there. He promised them he would be there, that they would get to meet him. And because he'll stand there, they'll stand there. Guy didn't get it. And you know what? He'll never have this. You can't trick people into loving you. Or I should say you shouldn't. You can't trick people into caring about you. You know, a lot of people will say Jack Spiracle's a dick. Jack Spiracle's an asshole. Jack Spiracle's a jerk in both good ways and bad ways. But they'll never say that you can't trust them. They'll say it could be wrong, but they won't say you can't trust me. Because I'm always authentic. If you want to build success in this world today, my primary advice, whoever you are, don't try to be anybody else. Be authentic. Because someday... Your authentic self will come out. And if what you've built has been built upon the sticks of inauthenticity, then that big tent you created will collapse and everybody will leave you behind. If you're authentic, if you love your people and they love you, no matter what comes out, as long as it's actually you, as long as you don't go out and like freaking shoot up a post office or something, they're not going anywhere. You want to build a brand today, folks? Be authentic. Don't use tips and, trips and uh, tips and tricks. Love your people. Stand for your people. And they'll love for you. And they'll stand for you. Back. Take care. We'll be back tomorrow. Remember, if you want to submit something for Miyagi Mornings, send an email to jack at the survivalpodcast.com. Miyagi Mornings in the subject line. Ask me a question or something to speak on. Everything is up for grabs except no politics.